Once I had a gal as sweet as she could be. Once I had a gal and she was right for me. Kind of sandy hair, eyes so soft and blue that you couldn't help but care. When she looked at you, she called me baby, baby all the time. Can't you see, baby, understand, baby, you're for me, won't you take my hand, but I pushed her away, wouldn't let her near, pushed her far away, now I'm wishing I could hear her call me, baby, baby, all the time. through the day, lonely through the night, lonely, lonely hours without that gal I held so tight. Lord, I pray that you will listen to my plea, keep her close to you so she'll come back to me and call me baby, baby all the time. Now, one thing with this song is you're going to get the sheet on youthsforbrown.com and want to practice it, and you're going to look at the chords and you're going to freak probably because there's a lot of chords in here. I played this all upper position, and in my mind, that's where it sounds best. But even if you are a beginning euchre who plays down here, and there's nothing against that, but there's a learning curve when you get a little bit higher. Please watch the rest of this video because I'm going to try and make it easy for you. There's only four chord shapes in here, and I'm, we're not even necessarily going to concentrate on the chord names right now because you can move them around wherever you want to uh, within the, within the defi definition of moving them around in proximity to each other. That being said, we're going to work on the four chord shapes, okay? The first one is the C chord shape, which you may have encountered down here as a B flat. And you're going to go B flat, B, C. So we're starting out at this C on the third fret, which is 5, 4, 3, 3, okay? The next chord is a C minor 6, and holy cow, you're going to say, what's up with a C minor 6? How do we make this happen? But we're barred here already at the third fret, making a C. We're going to take this bar, we're going to slide it down to the second fret, and now we're going to cover the first, second, and third strings with this middle finger right there. So we're going to kind of palm it with one finger and get those first three strings. There's our C minor 6. So all we've done is go from this C to this C minor 6. The next chord shape is a C sharp diminished. Now you may know a C diminished and you know that it's a 2-3-2-3. Two, three, two, three, okay? But when you sharpen it, you're taking off a little bit of the edge of the blade if you're sharpening a knife blade and so you're going to take a little bit off of your strings and you're going to slide them up once and you got a C sharp diminished. Same shape, you're just moving it up. Okay, so now we went from a C to a C minor 6 to a C and we kind of just do a little pivot here because our finger's already on that third fret and we're going to make that diminished shape at the third and fourth fret so it's 3-4-3-4. Three, four, three, four. That's a C sharp diminished. Now the next one is a D minor 6, which is almost like a C minor 6, right? Only we're going to move it up to the 4th fret. So this is 4, 4, 5, 5, 5. But the same shape as a C minor 6. There's your D minor 6. So, so far we have covered a C, 
the C minor 6 and a C sharp diminished shape because the D minor 6 is the same shape just on a different fret. Okay, so it's the same shape, but because you moved it into a new location, it's a different chord. The next one, next chord you're going to make is a D diminished. That's the same shape as a C sharp diminished, only you're going to take this chord that you're making now, this D minor 6, and you're going to take that pointer finger and you're going to use that and you're going to pivot it around and make your diminished shape. So it's going to be this way. Your next chord is a C, so you're going to pivot it around and make your, at the third fret, and then you're going to go back up to a D minor 6, then you're going to make a G7. Here comes your fourth chord shape, I think, and it's a G7 at your third fret, but you know it as an F7 down here. So down here you're going to make a four-fingered F7. Here's a F sharp 7. Yeah, that's right. F sharp 7. Up here is a G7. So there's your fourth shape. And then you're going to go right back to a C shape, which is where your pointer finger is at, that third fret. You're going to spin it around and make a C up to a D minor 6 to the D G7 again as kind of a turnaround there. So here's our shapes we're doing. C, C minor 6, C, C sharp diminished, you just spin it around, D minor 6, spin it around and make a D diminished. Then we're going to go C, then we're going to go D minor 6 to a G7, and then when we make this slide up, she called me baby. It's a C sharp diminished, which is where our pointer is at. We're going to make that a C sharp diminished and go up to the fifth and sixth fret, baby. And then we're going to go to the D minor six, to the G7. So I'll get closer here and you can look at my fingers as we do this, okay? So here's our C shape. Right here, we're barring at the third fret, making that B flat shape, just like that. So here's our C. Then we're going to make a C minor six, which is slide your bar down, and you're going to cover the first three strings. Now we're going to go back up to the C. Then we're going to go C sharp diminished, where our, our finger's already on that third fret, so we're going to spin it around, hold that position, and make our diminished shape, which is kind of a cluster right here, kind of clunky. Kind of hard to show you, but it's three four three four. Now we're gonna make a D. Let's see, where am I? D minor six. So we're gonna uh, let's see. Is that right? Yeah, D minor six. So we're here at the fourth fret, barring it because it's like the C minor sh six shape down here. We're gonna go up to the fourth fret, make that same shape. That's a D minor six. And now our fingers already on this fourth fret, and we're gonna spin around and make a D diminished. Then we're back to a C, and then back up to a D minor 6, to a G7. Then we're going to do our slide, which is C sharp diminished, D diminished, D mi sharp diminished. And then we're going to spin around and make that D minor 6, and then to a G7, and then back to a C, a D minor 6, and a G7. And the way I ended it on the third verse was playing that C, Bing, 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 and then up to a C6, which is 5757, five, seven, and sliding it down gives it a nice jazz clean cut. So here's how it goes, and I'll go a little slow, so maybe you can watch it. I'll move my chair up here. So kind of watch my hand. It's so lonely through the day, lonely through the night, lonely, lonely hours without that gal I held so tight, Lord, I pray that you will listen to my plea. Keep me close to you so she'll come back to me. Now here comes this walk up and call me baby. Baby all the time to a D minor six. G7, back to the D minor 6 for the ending, baby, G7, baby all the time. There you go. 
This is this might be a good way for you to be go beyond that third fret, get up in the fifth and sixth fret, and now the miraculous thing uh, what happens is because you have a movable chord shape, you can then change this to any place you want to, staying within the confines of those intervals. So, not to complicate matters, but if you take this C shape and you want to play it into a different key, that maybe this key was hard for you to sing in, move it up, and it, the melody note is found. Down here on the C, it was the G note. Once I had a gal, so if you look at when you bar that C, it's the second string, uh, third fret. Now if you move it up, and you're going to play it at the fifth fret, here's your opening melody note. Once I had a gal, as sweet as she could be. Once I had a gal, and she was right for me. Kind of sandy hair, eyes so soft and blue that you couldn't help but care. When she called, looked at you. Now, if that was too high, slide it down. Here's our C shape. You can play this right down into that B flat shape. So let's go to the B flat. And we're going to find our melody note. Once I had a gal, as sweet as she could be. We don't have to bar it because we have our nut there working for us. As she could be. Once I had a gal, and she was right for me. Kind of sandy hair, eyes so soft and blue that you couldn't help but care. When she looked at you, you. You can move these shapes all over because you're covering four strings, so you can transpose instantly. Have fun with it. It's just a four chord, four shaped chord song. There's more than four chords in here, but it's only four shapes. So hit the road running with this one. Have fun.